feel like I'm doing a lot of healing right now, though. Oh, nice. There it is. Oh, wow. There we go. We finally timed this key. I, it's taking me so long to time this keystone. It's it's sad. All right. If, do we get any loot? Nah. Nah, why would we get loot? Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you a plus 21 old man. This was the last one that I needed for to get all the portals. Finally got them all. I am not fist weaving. I'm actually casting healing during this keystone. And yeah, this is what I use when I when I cast. There's really uh, nothing crazy to it. If anyone doesn't, you know, if anyone does cast a mistweaver in Mythic Plus, let me know. I would love to know your build. But yeah, overall the dungeon we kind of crushed it. So that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Hello, everybody. I feel like it's been a minute since I've done. A keystone. I'm 439 item level two, so I haven't done much. I think I have two pretty good trinkets, but not much has changed since the last time I uploaded a uh, keystone. I'm not fist weaving this time around either. I'm just gonna chill and uh, I'm just gonna heal. I'm gonna be. Honest, I'm just gonna heal. I, <laughs> I feel like you know I did some fist weaving and solo shuffle, and my brain is freaking fried. Uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna heal. We're just gonna chill. Uh, most important thing, obviously, when you when you're casting, is to have your ring missed up on as many people as possible. You want to get value out of your vivify when you can, and then you also want to put out. Uh... I was about to say something. Oh, forgot I got to heal this or the spell it doesn't matter. Um... <clears throat> you want to put envelop miss when you can, and then Mystic Touch as well if you're playing with melee. I'm actually not playing with any melee, so I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to try to do damage when I can. Like, I'll Todd this, and I'll spin a Crane Kick and Chi Wave, but it's not like a major mandatory thing. I'm going to Onyu Shrink it here, and probably 4 Brew too. I have a 7 Stacker here. We should be okay. Flood Decays just do the most insane healing. Okay, I feel like I'm getting out healed by a tank right now. Sweep everything on those casts. I believe it's raging as well, so raging isn't fun either. The one downside I found to casting Mistweavers is the mana is just painful. It is so freaking painful. I feel like I need to go for a drink every other pull. I'm really hoping with the mana T rework, they kind of find a really good balance where it's not, you know, obviously super broken, right? But there's a good balance between. Being able to chain pull, not have to drink every single pull, you know, that'd be kind of nice. But I guess we'll see. It's it's weird. It's gonna be hard to balance though, because I feel like fist weaving, you don't really have to get mana ever, like at all. And then when you're casting, you need, <laughs> you know, like I said, every other pull. So kind of sucks. We're just gonna dispel here. This is it's Fort Raging. Ooh, infection. What what's it called? I had I, what's it called? The afflicted, afflicted. Oh my lord, I am going crazy. I must be fried from those shovels. Jeez. Um. Overall, it's not too bad. This is. I'm not. I'm not trying to brag or anything here. But this is my last portal. All right. This is. This this is my last portal. All right. This is. <laughs> I'm not trying to put any pressure on it. You know what I mean? But this. If we time this, like I got all my portals. I'm. Usually that's the bar for me, <laughs> you know, like I just like having portals. I'll probably try to get 20 pluses and pretty much everything. I accidentally left that one go off because I'm bad. And, uh, <clears throat> that's my fault. I just wasn't paying attention. I, if four weeks are hard, man, it's hard to pay attention. I'm trying not to get by mechanics, but that was, that was my bad. hundred percent my fault. Um, but yeah, mistakes happen. I was getting a little excited about the, uh, the thought of having my final portal done, but we're, we're, I'm going to focus up. Try not to, uh, try not to make any more mistakes. You know, we'll let that one slide. That's, you know, let's strike one. All right, three strikes, I'm out. We'll let that one go. Oh, good on mana. I always have to, it's when, it's whenever I'm casting, when, like, I have to let people know, no, I'm, I'm good, don't worry, I'm fine. Usually around 70% mana for a boss fight on non-Tyrannical Weeks is pretty... I mean, I, I feel like I'm going to gain mana during this, actually. I started at, what, 75%? All right, I'm not going to be bad. I'm going to dispel that because I'm a good healer. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Please. And th these guys don't really have... Okay, 
Right, yeah, my bad, my bad. All right, again, we're not we're not gonna make mistakes. I think that was strike two. Okay. It's been a minute since I've done first of all any keystone, and I'm not even gonna talk about Oldman. All right, I cannot even begin to tell you when the last time I did Oldman was. So my bad, my bad. You know. Hopefully, Harambe's DPS can carry me through this dungeon. And I keep forgetting I play statue in this build. I feel like a statue is, like statue is a mistake. I don't know if there's anyone that plays non fist weaver in Mythic Plus. Like, let me know because I feel like it's such like a what's the word like a chore like a burden almost to to always have like keep putting statue down over and over and over again every pull like every other pull. Maybe I just gotta put it in better spots, but. I don't know. I never. I don't really. I feel like it's kind of a waste. But I use the uh, that one talent. I use peaceful mending, so I feel like it's pretty useful. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't see many people playing non fist weaver, so we're kind of just on our own. Uh, not a hard boss though. There's like two mechanics. I just I just happen to get hit by the one mechanic <laughs> that uh makes me look like a little dub. So yeah. Anyway, we'll try not to. You know, focus too much on my mistake. Dang. Great innervate there, by the way. Got a little essence fun out. Very, very good. I'm gonna dispel here. I think that's a, I think that's a slow. Pretty sure. So, I'm just gonna try our best. That's all we can do. Get out healed by a tank, as usual. Thankfully, this is a guild group, so I didn't have to stay too long in LFG to find a group. Um, I'm surprised. You know, that they even want me to. You know, I'm gonna keep it real. Like. But I'll take it. I'll take it. No augmentation evoker either. You know, there's a. What's this? Did we get the both of them? I think we have both of them. So we're chilling. Um, I did fist sweeping with an augmentation evoker, and I swear it was like truly the most fun I've ever had playing this game. I swear it was freaking insane. And this is a 21. Oh, wow. I thought this was a 20. Okay. You know, I'll crank up the numbers a little bit. I'm just going to cocoon here because that looked a little. I don't know. It looked a little scary there. Was it okay? Are we chilling? Okay, good. Put a statue down, and uh, I'm gonna start pre-drinking here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Um, usually I try to like start drinking right before the boss, but especially on non-tyrannical weeks, like there's not. I feel like I, I almost prefer tyrannical weeks. I know it sounds crazy, and maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but I find tyrannical weeks easier than than four weeks. I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the dungeon, but I swear I, I never have fun really on Fort Weeks. I always have a lot more fun on Tyrannical Weeks because if you know the mechanics, like it's just a matter of healing and avoiding the mechanics and doing the mechanics. I don't know. I feel like there's like more stress on on Fort Weeks. So right, we're just gonna get some damage in right now. Obviously, we're cranking. We're probably top of the meters. That's another thing they need to give like non fist weaver is just still like give us some damage. Because you can't really go down the left side of the mist weaver tree. Um, I'm gonna dispel you. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Good. I have a five stack or shield. I'm just gonna send it. Yeah. Yeah. I also have revival. Let's just send that too. Why not? We have the damage reduction in haste, so we should be able to get good value here. Be healing. I also have. I'm just gonna go for it. Health zone there. Keep myself topped off. And just do damage. Or heal. Not do damage. Heal. Uh, I could also sweep the DPS, which I think is worth doing. Spell that. I can heal this. I'll heal you. One. Got you. Nice. Well done, team. And by team, I mean the Miss Weaver. Uh, Quaking Totem coming out. I'm going to manatee here and just kind of start uh, going to town. Damp dampen harm here. Please don't. Oh, please. Oh. Nice. And that does quite a bit of damage. Oh, my Lord. I'm just going to dispel this, yeah? Essence spawn here with the uh, innervate, which is beautiful. Kick that. Good. One trick when it comes to kicking things, um, if you're targeting a teammate and you press your kick, it's going to automatically target like 
the most the closest person casting. I don't know. Oh, thank God. I'm glad we killed that thing. That boss was not fun. Did quite a bit of healing, though. Did quite a bit of healing. It just never stopped. Like, the amount of damage that that boss, that boss does is just absurd. All right, I'm going to quickly tr start drinking uh, before this pull. Hopefully, my DK can just live a little. He lived a little. He did, did his best. Put some hots out. Drop them and then spin the win, honestly. Nice, nice. Good. I think I forgot to put my statue down for that last fight, too. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. You know, we killed it. Would it have been a little easier if I had it? Probably. Pro probably a hell of a lot easier, but you know what? That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Jeez. It, it's crazy. Oh. Oh, wow. Sweep that. I, he just took so much. See, like, this is what I'm talking about, man. Four weeks are like, we go from being fine to dead. But at least he spawns close. It's kind of weird, though, man. Spell that. Good. Good. I have a 10 stacker shield to give to. Maybe because it's Fort and Raging, so like... It's kind of rough. I do have a uh, Todd, though, that I'll probably use now. Okay. I'll have to spell this. Nice. Look at us doing our job. That's crazy. Look at us. Look how far we've come healing. All right. Um, we do have another boss fight here. Uh, this boss isn't uh, isn't too crazy. You know, not not too many mechanics. I think we what we have two more bosses after this, I believe. There isn't much room for like the healing here. Oh my god, there isn't much room in this dungeon. I feel like for like uh, variation. I think it's pretty pretty linear. Linear. I think is the right word. Pretty linear dungeon. Um, it's a lot of stacks or something. Can't really do much of anything. I think there's just a there's like not much extra trash in here, so we just pretty much just go straight through the dungeon. I wonder if teaching in the monastery is good. You get mana back by doing damage, and then rising sun kicks get renewing mist out. Could work. Could be good. We're at what, 38%, 39% trash? It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. My mana's jumping up. Oh my god, my mana's Hella jumping up. Hell yeah. I love mage food. A little time warp here. Put Chi Wave out. Cranking. All right. Just avoid. Pretty much this one is just avoid the mechanics. I know it, it sounds crazy, but just do the mechanics. I'll try to explain that as I go. Um, we do have a dot on us right now, so we're going to just try to heal. It's this right here. Stomp. Just does AOE damage. It's nothing crazy. Just heal through it. I'm non tyrannical weak. It's like. I don't want to say it's a joke, but it's pretty close to a joke to spell that. <clears throat> and then we have a druid for the second one, too, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go for a 10 stacker Shaylin's gift here. Boom. Somehow my druid outranged it, which is kind of weird. But we do have duplicate healing, so we're just going to try to honestly just crank. Uh, we, we should have enough healing here to just keep my team alive. Uh, we're just going to go for a revival here, too, because why not? Nice innervate. I don't have essence font. For four. I should be able to get it towards the end, though. Dispel that. Nice. Well done. And we should be okay. It's just, like, a lot of damage going out. Like, we do 91k healing per second and still just sustained, really. During that stomp, it just takes, like, here. I'm going to have to cocoon the mage. I'm going to try to chi cocoon or what is it? Yulon, so I get the, we get Chi Cocoons just to absorb some of the healing or some of the damage. Spell that. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's pretty good. 95k healing per second. So this guy has the debuff still. So we got to heal, heal him a little bit. But non tyrannical, it's not too bad. It's not too, too terrible. But now here comes like, I feel like this is the most boring part of the dungeon where it's just like this part and then the next part is just straight trash. And you're just like, 
painful. Sweep everything here. Just put Mystic Touch and everything. Maybe my DK gets some value out of it. And then we just, we're just going to heal. We have no cooldowns right now. Kind of just used everything on the last boss. So, also of Stone. Nice grip on that. I was going to go for an in-cap on it. You can also rop it too if you see it going through. Dispel there. I didn't see a second one. So, we should be good. Cool. Harambe's out here cranking. <clears throat> oh, Guild is actually cranking. Damn. Why, I don't know why my mouse keeps switching to that <laughs> that party member, but okay. But yeah, we just kind of dealt with that trash real easy. Like, drink super quick. Is that the new Infernal thing? That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we're going to dispel here. Nice dispels. Go team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Sweep everything here. And we're just going to heal. Kick that. We do have ROP if something starts like, if something starts channeling that we can't kick, we could always ROP everything. But I feel like we're doing pretty good right now. I'm just gonna go for Shaylin's gift here for the crit. And then we're just gonna try to heal as much as, like just as much as we can, pretty much. Halls of Stone, I'm gonna ROP that. Oh, nice grip, nice. The ROP should be good enough too though. Kick that, we're gonna dispel this. Good, I think there's only one, so we should be okay. Manatee, just a little essence font here. I feel like maybe that was a waste of Manatee towards the end of the pull. Could have been. Could have been. Yeah, probably was. Feels like it was a waste. I'm going to try to dr put my statue down drink real quick here. I don't. I do have revival for this. Uh, the runic protector is kind of the big the big boy. That's that's kind of what we want to kill. Um, but we also want to interrupt the, the stone ritual, I believe it's called. Curse. I don't know what it's called. Sweep everything. Yeah, earthquake is going to hurt here. Chainlin's gift. Yulon here. Nice to spell. I thought I saw a second one. Ooh. Spell it. Be healing. Okay. I think we're doing okay. I do have revival though. So if we start to like take some damage, I'll probably just send the revival. Rop that. Holes. Hmm. This is going to hurt. Yeah, that did hurt. I think there was a halls of something went off. Jeez, that walk back is painful. Oh my God. They should really, why can't they just have like bosses be the respawn, you know? Just every boss, just have it respawn. I guess it'd be too easy, you know? Be too good of a change. I feel like it wouldn't be that insane. Sweep everything. Dispel here. All right. Yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. We're doing pretty good, I think. We're about halfway done with the dungeon. We got 60% trash, two more bosses. So I feel like we're doing pretty good. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It feels like we're doing like pretty solid though. So go team. I feel like when I'm not fist sweeping, I'm just like a cheerleader. So let's go for a little Todd here. Nice to spell. Boom. All right. So we have a the fourth boss here. This one's kind of annoying. It's it's not tyrannical, but I feel like you can still wipe on this boss, even though it's not tyrannical. It's like, I don't know. This boss has a few mechanics that you kind of need to deal with. And also I've, I've experienced like a bug in here too. So I don't know. But... All right. I have mine, okay. Obviously don't stand in front of the boss. Diffuse magic, dispel. Uh, Harambe is playing imp for the debuff to make it, you know, just dispellable. Um, I think I'm just going to diffuse magic here. Yeah, that seems fine. Or not diffuse magic, dampen harm. My bad. I think dampen harm is like really good cooldown. I don't know if Yulon's grace is better, is, is good like compared to it, but I'm just going to revival here. And we're just going to chill. I can kind of heal through the next one. Maybe I waste revival. Nah, because I knew we were going to phase him. So I feel like if we just kill everything here, we should be fine. So, do damage here. The boss is going to do AoE damage as well during this. So, just try to keep your renewing mist up on everybody. Do your best to vivify when you can. Essence font as well. I'm going to use Anya's trinket and just um, essence font. Just do damage. And I have a 10 stack Shadeland's gift here that should heal everybody. It just does, uh, which is really good. We get like 40% more healing with this one. So, just doing damage when I can. And I have Yulon too. I've, damp I've diffused magic coming back, but I it, 
I guess I could Yulon for a little, a little Chi Cocoon, but that's pretty much all I got for AoE healing, but we should be able to just kill it here. Spell. Yeah, we should be able to just kill it. I have Cocoon too. I'll Diffuse Magic now. Cocoon here. Shaylin's Gift. Beautiful. Yeah. That's the one boss that scares me in this place on like Fort Weeks because there are quite a few mechanics. So, and they can definitely wipe you. So, the last boss is just kind of annoying. I really hate bosses that are in rooms that you're like in like, I don't know. I feel claustrophobic. I, I just feel like the room isn't big enough, you know? It's just, it's just not big enough, in my opinion. And then here, this is, this is truly the most boring part of the dungeon. Right here. This is like the most boring part. Now it's just 40% of trash in a row. And you just got to heal through it and just truck right through it. I don't, the boss fights seem to be going pretty smooth. So I don't think we're going to have much of an issue with time as long as we don't like have a full wipe, but we'll see. I don't know. I, I don't know if this timer is tight or not on four weeks um, or like in general, I have no idea, but we'll definitely see for sure. I love my little cheek cocoons. I love them. It's like Rob kind of is a little delayed on the, that channel. Let's go to Todd here. Get him out of my face. All right. Yeah, we just have one just straight trash. Just straight freaking trash. Nice CS on that. I guess I on use here. I'll dispel this guy. Be healing. I have a eight stacker that heals everybody. Yeah, good. Sweep everything. Mystic touch and everything. Just spin here. Not much damage going out. Kick that. Nice. Look at, my, look at my damage. Oh my god. It's crazy. I don't even need to heal the tank. Damn. Alright. Some AOE damage going out, but you see all the renewing mist we have right now? I'm just going to dispel that. Um, you see all the uh, renewing mist we have going? E Vivify is just cranking healing. Yeah, so good with our mastery too. I don't think I'm running full mastery either on this set. I think I'm running like a good amount of haste. But... I feel like Ma maybe Mastery could be better. I don't know. Maybe Mastery could be better. I'm not standing in that circle. I'll tell you that. Okay. I'm just going to focus on healing here. Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist. We're going to Dispel here. I could probably use a macro, can't I? I could probably use a macro to, like, automatically target so I don't have to click it every time which I honestly I could probably just do that next time I could check the dispels probably and just see what um what I'm dispelling and then just make the macro to target it unless I made it like totems like shaman totems and pvp you can't you can't target them with macros so they could have made it like that I don't know we'll see. oh no okay oh no Scared. Yeah, my little gnome legs. Yulon here. Revival everything. Okay. I think we're okay. It was a little little dicey there. I, I, hate, I feel like claustrophobic in here. But no, I think overall doing pretty good right now. Um, I'm just going to cocoon the tank because he is priority. Dispel that. Afflicted soul. Okay, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to see if I can macro that the next time I do a keystone. And then we'll see. Cool. I'm actually out of mana. That's that's uh fantastic, really. Oh, that mana T rework can't come soon enough. Really happy they're kind of reverting back to wad style. Cause uh, I missed it. I definitely missed old. The old style of mana T. I don't know how much time we're gonna need for the last boss maybe two or three minutes i'm good i'm good maybe two or three minutes big pull i have no cooldowns so i guess we'll see sweep everything big heal 
I'm just gonna fort here because I'm kind of I'm a little scared right now. Kick that. Maybe I should have waited to leg sweep now. Maybe not. Runway is only doing 360 kdps. That's chump change. Oh, All right, eight stacker here. Good. Okay. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We got 10 minutes to s 10 minutes to spare. We got like what one or two hallways to go, and then we should be good. I'm gonna talk this. Oh, nice. Wow, we're actually doing really good on trash. I don't think I've ever been this far ahead on trash. Uh, at this part of the dungeon, but you know, spell, heal this, spell that. I'm just gonna keep bobbing and weaving uh, with these mobs. Yeah, just keep bobbing. I really would have bet my life that was LOS, but I guess I was wrong. I don't have revival for this either, so it's gonna get a bit awkward, slightly awkward. But we're gonna just bob and weave. I think at two seconds left. Yeah, two seconds left. It uh. I could also use Diffuse Magic to kind of reverse it. Dispel that. Oh, look at look Harambe. All right. Learning from the best over here. Diffuse Magic. Sweep everything. Spin the wind. Cocoon. Oh, I don't have Cocoon. Oh, I need you in my line. Yes. I got you, brother. I got you. I have Revive on three. So we should be... I'll wait until the next stack goes out. I'm just going to revival everything. And we should be we should be good. I'm gonna dispel here. Nice, well done. Maybe I should have maybe I should have saved Todd for this pull. Damn. But we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good right now. Nice, nice, well done. Ninety is this gonna bring us home? Nah. We got what one more big boy and then a bunch of whelps. Yeah. Mystic touch and everything. I'm just gonna say hug this wall kinda. Yulon goes through the wall, the little cheek cocoons. So you can kind of use that to your advantage. Just gonna keep bobbing, honestly. Just bobbing and weaving. Every when there's two seconds left, it refreshes. So you could just heal this whole time. Two seconds left or three seconds left, just avoid it completely. <clears throat> Healing. Well done. Well done. Do damage here. Manatee here. Spell. Nice. Anyway, that's 100% trash. So let's see where we're going. Dispel that. Oh, Harambe with the gates. Damn, son. Are you kidding me? All right, my little gnome legs can't handle it. All right, good. All right. I'm going to drink. We're going to be fine. Oh, well. Wow. All right, I'm good. All right, this is the final boss. Harambe has this imp. The imp is kind of necessary for the dispel on this. I'm just going to diffuse magic this, and then we just dispel everything. We're just insane. All right. Crazy good. But, yeah, um, this boss, again, try to dispel those debuffs as fast as you can. I don't know if there's anything crazy about this boss besides the fact that you can run out of room. That's pretty much it. Dispel there. Oh, I, I need to heal I need to heal this one. All right, nice. I need to heal this. Oh, please. Big heal. Good. Obviously, with the flicked, it's just super annoying. But, yeah, I think overall I'm just going to unuse trinket here and just kind of crank some healing. But... There isn't too much, I feel like there isn't too much damage that goes out. I mean, there's AOE damage during this part of the fight, but besides that, I mean, just save your uh, Shaylin's Gift for it. Don't stand in front of the boss when they do the breath, and you should be okay, I feel like. Oh, um, okay, Rambo used to diffuse magic on himself, which is perfect. Oh, one of the afflicted went off. Like, it's because I am keep dispelling the uh, debuff. That's my fault. That one's my bad. <clears throat> Don't stand be in front of a thing like uh, the pool when the that goes off. Otherwise, you're just gonna get uh, knocked into a uh, knocked into it. I'm gonna heal this. 
These bosses are so- these mobs, not the bosses, the mobs are so annoying. When they spawn, like, on a boss that you need to dispel stuff, like... I want to save my revival for, like, all the things, but... Um, I actually have Diffuse Magic, so I feel like we should be okay. Shadeland's Gift here. It should be fine. Trying not to stand in front. Nice. Spell that. Diffuse Magic that. Revival everything. Be healing. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty good right now, I would say. Yulon here. I don't see any afflicted mo uh, mob spawning. Nice innervate. Oh, he doesn't even know how good that innervate is, but God, I love you. Spell. Let's go cocoon myself here and just keep our, keep everyone alive. Everyone else alive, at least. It's not tyrannical, so it shouldn't be too bad. Got a lot of healing going. I feel like I'm doing a lot of healing right now, though. Oh, nice. There it is. Oh, wow. There we go. We finally timed this key. I, it's taking me so long to time this keystone. It's it's sad. All right. If, do we get any loot? Nah. Nah, why would we get loot? 